Shakespeare inspired Verdi. The dark and light, the chiaroscuro. It's like a painting. And he's painting with voices. Absolutely amazing music. It has to sound demonic and uncomfortable, straight, screaming. Thunder and lightning, horror, blood, ambition. If you want to see what is the man like in his character, just give him a power. Good. So, are we ready? This story, Verdi is drawn to it because it's quite a complicated brew. Tyranny and the plight of the victims and revenge and victory over these negative forces. Macbeth, it's a good man, general, fighting for his country and being loyal to his king. Until the moment he got this news that with little help from his wife, he could be king. They always knew there is a possibility for them to be king and the queen. I think she was the one who was waiting a lot and uh, she had a lot of energy and she put all her attention into her husband. She's pushing him and she's insulting him <laughs> all the time. There's a demonic quality, the ambition that is at the center of Lady Macbeth's being. Verdi saw this, and so he wanted something that was really frightening. Verdi said there are three characters to consider, him, her, and the witches. We decided not to make them a scene of bedraggled chaos, but to present them in quite a powerful way. They're a very, very powerful group of almost Frida Kahlo-esque um, divas. When you get a group of singers together for this opera, everybody knows, because of this combination of Verdi and Shakespeare, that they have a responsibility that is perhaps even greater than with any other operas. They have to go that extra step. So in the rehearsals, I'm pushing all the time. I try, I try. Try. It. One. This may be... Yeah, it needs that. That's it. He has, of course, his own vision of how it should be done how it has to sound. He asked a lot of uh, changing the voice, making the character. No, but then, no, but then, you, do as, then you do as written. Uh, do something yeah. absolutely <laughs> crazy. Do something you've never done before mm -hmm. there. <laughs> yeah. You are demanding all the time for the orchestra to play softer, for the singers to whisper more. It's got to be believable, you know? Don't go to the other suit. 80% of the opera is written in piano. Amazing. If you look at the score, you can find two piece, three, four, five after one another. The minute you take volume away from a sound, you risk losing intensity. My belief is that if a singer sings more softly, the intensity has to be even greater. Easy to talk about, very difficult to do. Let's do the start of big number one, please. I think we were trying to create a world which felt almost futuristic, this black hell in which they exist. And these glimmers of the prize, the power. Revenge, hatred, love, lust, all very familiar opera ingredients. Every time I'm doing Macbeth, I know it's going to be good. You cannot make bad Macbeth. 
There is no one single moment which is weak. It just goes. One after the other with non-stop. I mean, it's genius music, absolutely. Yeah. 